And just like that, what's up to the family of personal development? If you're new on this channel, my name is Joseph and I'm currently traveling right now. Disclaimer, I am not a travel vlogger. I actually make videos about personal development. So you get to come along with me and together we discover something new. I gotta say, you know, sometimes the most best things that happen are not planned. I'm a person who does not like to plan things because I am so afraid of disappointments. I, I'm so afraid of, you know, these expectations that people place on us. Like, I hate expectations. Like, I really genuinely hate expectations. You know, I think plans are there for, you know, there's, there's, I think there's room for making plans, but I always like to just go with the flow. Cause I didn't plan on coming to the Philippines at all. It was just a thought of mine and then I just made it happen. Cause I don't like planning. I feel like whenever we plan something, it doesn't always go as planned. It might go 80%, 90% as planned. But you know, it always feels so much better, right? It always feels so much better when nothing is planned and it just happens. There's a quote that if nothing is planned, anything is possible. So. You know, while I'm here, I'm on my little spiritual retreat and I'm just enjoying myself, having so much fun. And I think I caught a fling. <laughs> I think I started, I think like a, a new love is arising. I don't know if it's something like serious. I don't know if it's a, a fling just cause I'm here, you know, right now, but it feels good. You know, I think it's healthy to experience these kind of you know, experience these kind of feelings, the, the feelings, man, these emotions, I think it's okay to feel that because, I mean, we're, we're just, you know, we're human beings, we need love, and I don't have a lot of that from, like, friends because I am not the most, mm, <laughs> I'm not the most liked person in the world, put it that way. I think I'm infamous in many ways, and it's sad to say that, but, you know, sometimes you really have to do things on your own. And I always say this all the time that in the beginning, most people will not see what you are doing. They won't, they won't see, like, they won't have the same vision as you. Like, they can't see it because only you can see what is going on in your mind and in your head. Only you can see that it's reality. But when you put in the right amount of work, your vision will become contagious. And those who capture your vision will be the ones to make what you really picture for your life, for yourself, they're like you're gonna have foot soldiers that are gonna make sure that picture becomes vivid and it becomes a reality. So it's important to work, and I think work is a very vague term. It's not about working like at a day job. It's not about putting up YouTube videos. Working is really personal development. It's on you. It's yourself. What can you do? And. Really, sometimes you need to step out of the box. Step out of the box with me, like I'm doing now, and kind of get a big refreshment and be like, okay, cool. This is what I have to do. <laughs> so I came here for a spiritual retreat and I ended up falling in love, maybe. Maybe, maybe not love, maybe I fell in some like. But it's okay. It's okay to get your heart broken. It's okay to experience love. It's okay to have fun because those are just normal things that we go through in life, right? <laughs> so, you know, it's it's been great, you know, like, I think the only downside of this whole thing was is kind of being left out from people that I have great memories with, people that I have so many stories, like, great stories that of, like, you know, just joy, pure joy, and just laughs that just never ended. And, you know, to see them and not, be able to get that same feeling again, it hurts. But at the same time, expectations, like I said, expectations kill everything. So, you know, I just try to be very humble about it and don't expect anything from people because, it, like, my mentor always told me this. Sure, I made mistakes. You know, I've asked for forgiveness. I have changed my ways since a few months ago. And, you know, if the way that they treat you it's not really a reflection on you. It's a reflection on where they are in their faith and in their life. So if you did your part to try to ask for forgiveness, you did your part to try to, you know, get everything back and just be like, I miss you guys. No, I love you guys. And I, I'm sorry I messed up in life. And, you know, I got 
you know, distracted by so many things and I put our friendship to the side. If they don't take you back, that's okay. You know, you can't blame them and you can't blame yourself. You just gotta move on. And you'll find that there's so many people that will genuinely still be there for you and genuinely still love you for who you are, no matter how many times you mess up. And those are the best people to have around. I love those people. And, you know, if you don't have one of those people, I can be that people for you. Because seriously, I've been through some crap. I messed up. And I know how it feels to be hurt because I've been experiencing it this whole week being here. You know, being left out, but, you know, by the grace of an almighty, I made new friends. You know, new friends from Dubai, London, and all countries, like, and even right here, my bartender, man, I love my guy, I love my dude. He, you know, I've been talking to him because I haven't really been having too many people come around here to, like, just, you know, say hi to me. And talk to me so I'm really glad that I was able to just like you know bond with somebody and even go out with you know we went out on, in the town and just had fun you know I think it's very important to always understand that there's so many people in the world that will love you for who you are and they will respect you and even if you mess up there's always gonna be new people in life this could be in relationships even in employment friendships there's always going to be someone new, even someone better. So everything that you do now is all for a setup for something better. It seems like it's the end of the world now, but it's not. It's going to get so much better. And that's why it's very important to me about not just your personal development, not just mine, but the whole topic in general. I, I think if there's room for anything, there's always room for anything. It's always improvement. There's always room for that, you know, you can't ever run out of space, you know, it's not like a memory card where it's like memory full, memory full, cannot add any more personal development, cannot add any more improvement in life, it doesn't work that way. When, with anything, especially with personal development and and self-improvement, there's always going to be room for that. And that's why I'm here on this channel and, you know, I really hope that you can subscribe because that's really what we do together here on this channel, so... I'm gonna get up out here. I hope you enjoyed the clips that I shared. They might have been a little irrelevant for what I had been talking about. I just really want you to know how I've been. And since I'm not a travel vlogger, I am not gonna be acting like one anymore. <laughs> but if you do want to see me try to be a travel vlogger, go back to my last classes video and even the Kaviti vi- the Kaviti video, the most recent ones probably uh, uh, next to this one. So. It's been great. Thank you so much for staying here with me and listening to my problems, listening to me talk about oh, I'm such a I'm such a depressed person in life, but that's okay. Where we are sad, there's always going to be more room for lifting up and happiness and joy, and I want to bring that to your life now. So, good vibes sending it your way, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and God bless. I just found a little friend right here. What's up, friend? Where are you going, man? There's nowhere to go there. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm kind of scared a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's more scared of me than I'm scared of it. It's so tiny. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs>